Hey everyone, this is uh, Clan of Gamer here uh, with m more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. In the last part, um, I finished the first island and I uh, just got on with the second island and defeated Ripper Roo. Now, I had to do it again because of the uh, save uh, data that happened like in, in the first game as it always does. But um, without further ado, I'm going to get on with the uh, next level, which is the Lost City. Now, this is where you get the first coloured gem, which is the green gem. And um, hopefully I can get this first try without dying. Anyway, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, um, solo composition that I made for improvisation. If you've watched it, I'll, link, I'll link it down below for you guys to check out. And uh, hopefully in this level I can pick up the amount of lives that, that, um, that I had before. Hopefully that happens. Oh. oh, you have to be careful when uh, spinning the bats away, because uh, you need to have constant spin on, like, obviously that's not in this game, but, like, if you know what I mean, like, constantly spin the bats, because if you don't, um, they'll easily hurt you, which is very annoying. And in case you didn't know, there's an exclamation mark box there to get another box to reach the Brio token and the l another life. See, I was wondering to myself, okay, why is there a blank box there? And like, was there something I missed? And then when I checked on someone else's uh, playthrough on uh, YouTube, I found out that there was an exclamation mark box at that exact spot that I missed all, all this time. So now I know where it is, and if... You, and now if you don't know where it is, then now you know. Okay, second bonus token, and now get rid of you, bats. That was close. Oh yeah, and if you spin the second bat away, they just... Oh no! Oh god, well, looks like I'm gonna have to come back for the gem. Doesn't matter. I'll come back for the green gem, I can't believe that happened. This is what I was talking about, but the controls in this game are just atrocious. I don't like them. And I didn't mean to do that. I jumped on the checkpoint and then I just jumped into the water for somehow some reason. <sighs> Doesn't matter, I'm keeping that anyway, because this isn't a no death run, obviously, so. If it was a no death run, I probably would have given up on this quite a while ago, but uh, anyway. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'll need to come out for the green gem, and basically the green gem that path that you take in Jungle Rollers. That's basically the path you take, and there's just three more boxes up there. Anyway, here's the um, uh, embryo bonus round, the second bonus round. And basically this is more difficult than the last one. Hopefully I can make it though. There we go. Magician Brew again strikes. And well, he strikes again. Still been mad about how I died earlier, but I'm just gonna have to live with that now. But in my second run through, if I die in this at all, like in this level, in my second run through again the gem properly, then I'll cut the footage out until I actually do a no death run, like for getting the gem. Ah, too soon. Okay, somehow that acted as a checkpoint for some reason, I don't know why. Normally the video bonus rounds never give you a, uh, a checkpoint. So I was just checking the amount of lives I had there and I've got 19. Right, just time this carefully. There we go. Right, you need to time this as well. Timing is very important in this level, especially when it comes to these. Mm, 
go. And there's another one. Yeah, like to get the gem like there you just need to jump on that thing like a precise angle and then you'll get the box. Jump. Aye, if you if you try to spin those guys you'll just uh, end up uh, going backwards. And here's the next Tonya bonus round and, the, and another save point coming up. I don't really need all, all those boxes. Right, thirty-one percent. Yeah, um, I may have overreacted a bit in my rant video from earlier about the Brock Lesnar and Triple H uh, rematch happening at some point, but um, because I mean, like, whenever like Triple H was a heel, like he, he served his ego and stuff. I mean, that that's what that's what his character was. But see, the thing is. It's like, in my opinion, he's still serving his ego, even though he's a face. This is why, in my opinion, Triple H is just so much better. It's like, ah, oh, heal! Oh, this just isn't me today. And oh, God's sake! Oh, God. That was terrible. I should have done better than that. <sighs> hey, okay, let's get rid of this jumping lizard. Okay. Yeah, you can laugh at me there because, um, that... I did not mean that... that I didn't mean for that platform to swing that wide. <sighs> at least that level's over and done with. But now... Um, I'm going to go on to the next level, which again, um, if I don't get this on my first attempt, I'm going to have to come back for it. Like right, for the gem, I mean. Which is Temple Ruins. Now, you don't get a coloured gem on this level. Go. That was close. What have we got? But yeah, I may have overreacted to like uh, when uh, Brock Lesnar and the Triple H match. I mean, it would be a good money making match, but as I said before, there's plenty of other ones um, that can be more money making than Lesnar and Triple H. Like Lesnar and The Undertaker and uh, Brock Lesnar and The Rock. That was close right there, just Cobra. Now you see the controls on this, I've complained before about in my review of this game. Because they're just atro atrocious, I think. But all in all, this game is like, very fun. Go. This will probably be my last level because then um, well, well, depending on how much time I have, I mean I'm on eight minutes at the moment. We're coming up for nine minutes. There's another cobra waiting to strike. Well, not anymore. I right, hopefully I don't fall. Yes, thank you. Now, in case you're wondering, okay, why is there another one before you here? Well, let me show you why. Ta-da! A secret. I never thought of this, like, when I was younger. I was like, why is there, any, why is there one before you there? Surely that's going to lead you to fall to your death. But no, I was wrong. There's a secret there. And plenty of one before and lives. Yum, yum, yum.
Now hopefully when I, I do Crash Bash after this, um, like when I do another couple of parts of Crash Bash after this, I'm hoping that I can at least um, uh, get a victory in the Mallet Mash. Because honestly, that level I was just struggling to get a victory in. Spider, you go away. Yeah, I was just struggling to get a victory in that one, one because like whenever you hold the uh, hammer, um, when you're trying to hit the mushrooms, uh, the computers will just take advantage and just steal the mushrooms from you. I have to say, well, I mean, maybe I was wrong about Drag and Drop being my least favourite um, Medieval Mayhem uh, minigame. I brought the same Mallet Mash, it's probably my least favourite. I thought there was bats there, that's why I spun that one before threw away. Oh Christ, that was close. I expected the bats to pop out somewhere, but um, <sighs> that was a huge fry I got there. <laughs> but at least I got the gem, that's all that matters. Anyway, I'm going to end the part right here and uh, yeah, that was a bit of a fail that I had in Lost City. A few deaths I had, but um. Anything can happen in LPs, so... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, in the next part I will be starting uh, Road to Nowhere, so if you enjoyed uh, this part, be sure to uh, hit the like button, and comment down below for your thoughts on uh, uh, those two levels, the Lost City and uh, the, uh, ruin the Temple Ruins level, and... Um, uh, subscribe for more Crash Bandicoot videos. Until then, this is Clannic Game here signing off, and I'll see you next time when I do another part of Crash Bandicoot 1. Until then, I'll see you later, and goodbye.